What's going on, Pisces? It's your girl D with Eighth House Energy. I'm here to bring you your <clears throat> excuse me, your April 2020 love reading. I hope all is well with you guys. I hope that you are taking good care of yourselves, um, keeping yourselves germ-free and sucker-free. I do want to tell you that I appreciate all the Piscean energy that you bring to the channel. I love you guys. I appreciate you for it. Thank you so much for all the support. If you need a personal reading, my information is in the box below. If you need a natal chart reading, all that information is in the box below. Um, the extended to this video can be accessed through the Patreon membership link, which is in the box below. The uh, Patreon link also uh, serves to provide um, access to the Tarology Academy, which will allow you to learn the fundamentals of Tarolo Tarology which is a combination of tarot and astrology combined. So if you're interested in that, that would be through the Patreon membership, which is in the box below. It's only five bucks a month. Take advantage. All right. With that being said, let's see what energies we got for you. We got two major arcanas as the current, as the um, overall energy here. But we have the page of, now this is not a page, my love. Let me correct myself. This is the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, okay? The Ace represents um, new uh, potential of money, okay? So that you can do whatever it is you need to do. Some people are going to get some extra money. This could be the stimulus money coming through too, okay? So it could be that. It could be a job. Um, you know, in this t crazy time here, it's hard for people to find work. Um, depending on what's going on, but you got some good opportunities coming in financially. If this is not financial, this is actually a love reading, but I just had to put that out there. But in reference to love, this is a stable, committed relationship. And we have the emperor energy. Okay, nice. Emperor energy. This is Aries energy. It is Aries season. So this is all about someone who takes on great leadership skills. Someone who... Um, you know, is financially stable, okay, because we got the Ace of Pentacles here and the uh, Emperor, okay, so from someone who's financially stable, someone who's interested in marriage, um, someone who's usually married, okay, and then we have the uh, Temperance Energy, which is Major Arcana, this is um, Jupiterian Energy, okay, this is all about expansion and, well, Jupiter, is about expansion and growth. But this is this here is this is not Jupiter. This is Sagittarian energy. Jupiter rules Sagittarius, but this in particular is about a balance of emotions and um emotions and feelings cuz this is like the um this is like the cusp of Scorpio and uh Sagittarius. So Scorpio is about the emotions, Sagittarius is about the passions. So it's like a balance between the two. All right. So what we're looking at here is um, there could be a, there's a, a somebody is um, in a serious relationship here and it brings balance to their life, joy and balance. OK, um, let's see what energies we got here. So we got the current energy is the three of cups. OK, so someone reconnected, someone reunited. All right. Um, this is beautiful energy here thus far. All right. So that's what's going on. Now, the energies that this is Cancerian energy, I meant to tell you. OK, three of cups could talk about celebrations. It's talking about reunions as well. So um, with these three cards here, it could be either. OK, it could be celebration in reference to people reuniting. It could be a celebration in reference to maybe people getting married, getting in a solid, stable commitment. OK, but let's see what energies are positively or negatively affecting this three of cup. OK, well, we got the king of uh, king of cups in reverse here. This is Scorpio energy. Now, this is in reverse. Now, this three of cups energy. And then this king of cups in reverse energy, this king of cups in reverse energy is I was all happy for you till this came up here. This energy could represent someone who just doesn't have any love to give. This could represent somebody who is um, manipulative, someone who is um, abusive emotionally. OK, this is uh, physically abusive. OK, they could be um, emotional manipulation as well. And this is a person who wants to reconnect with you is what I'm getting here. Or you um, want to reconnect with this person, one or the other. 
Take it how it resonates. Now, I could be talking to you, Pisces, or I could be talking to the person who is dealing with Pisces on a romantic level. It's up to you guys to switch the roles, okay? So this I'm saying this up front so I don't have to keep repeating myself throughout the, the, the reading. Now, in the past here, we had the Five of Swords energy. Wow, okay. Five of Swords energy in the past. Now, what this could represent is this, first of all, Five of Swords is, uh, Fives are all about instability. They're about conflict. They're about change. Swords, this could be mental conflict here. Um, now, this could be you internally experiencing this mental conflict, not knowing what to do, feeling conflicted in a situation in reference to this relationship. Or this could be this person who is um, emotionally manipulative. Okay, maybe they, they were this way to you in the past or you were this way to someone in the past. Take it how it resonates. Okay, but this is what was in the past. Hopefully that stays in the past. Now, the, the more recent past, we have the strength card. So this is a major arcana. This is Leo energy. And this talks about someone who has self-respect, self-discipline. Okay, someone who is in control of their emotions and their feelings. Someone who does not let someone walk all over them. Okay, someone who does not let their emotions supersede their intelligence. All right. So that's major arcana. So in the past, someone got rid of this negative energy here. All right. That's what's up. Now, the crowning energy is the six of wands, more Leo energy. So more self-improvement. So um, you're feeling victorious right now. You're feeling like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm on top of the world. And that's beautiful energy here. Okay. Definitely beautiful. Uh, with the six of uh, wands energy here, this is victory. It's recognition. Okay. Um, it's success. All right. So that's a beautiful energy here. Now, um, in your future, we have the world card. This is another major arcana. Okay. With the world card, you got a lot of major arcanas going on. So, you know, the universe is definitely working in your life right now. Okay. So you may want to just surrender to what's going on and let be what will be. Don't try to control anything. Okay. Um, now, with the world card here, this shows that there's a cycle ending. Okay. This represents that there were lessons learned in the situation. Um, that um, there's a completion of some goals or some lessons. All right. And you're going from one cycle to another. This could also represent uh, travel. Okay. But it definitely represents completion of a cycle. Now, in your fears, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So you're fearing that this is not, there's no love here. You're fearing that um, this is not a love connection with the Ace of Cups in reverse. You're fearing being left alone, being let down, being, being depressed and disappointed in love. How this person sees you, uh, Pisces, is the Eight of Cups. So this person sees you as someone walking away. Hmm, okay, they see you as walking away. Now, in your hopes, we have the, okay, so in your hopes, you have the Ten of Cups. So your hopes is to meet someone that you can connect with um, and to be in a serious, committed relationship. Okay, this is what it is that you want. You want someone who is stable, okay, mentally and emotionally, as well as financially, stable, able to uh, have a mature, loving uh, connection with someone, okay? Someone whose emotions are equally balanced, right? That's what you're hoping for. Now, your outcome here is the judgment in reverse. Major Arcana, you got a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of spirit energy working on in your life here. So judgment in reverse. So this talks about making a bad decision, realizing you made a bad decision. And it could have been in love here. So this is what I'm getting here. This is a cut dry situation of someone realizing their worth, realizing their value, okay? Realizing that this type of energy is no longer going to be tolerated. As a result of that, in the past, they cut that out. They gain control of the situation by first gaining control of their emotions, getting control of their life, period, and understanding that they deserve and respect a serious um, mature, committed relationship with somebody who gives off the emperor energy. Okay. So you got yourself in check. You got everything situated. You got rid of this bullshit ass energy. Excuse my language. You got rid of that energy. All right. And so now you're in control. So now you're, you, um, conduct yourself as someone who deserves respect, someone who will not, uh, accept 
anything less. Someone who is self-disciplined when it comes to their emotions. They're not going to just fall for any old lame who comes their way saying, hey, you know, I think you're hot. Like, you're like, oh, really? <laughs> Let me stop bugging. But seriously, you know, this is showing that, look, you know, I'm not tolerating. I learned some lessons from the past with this world card. I learned some lessons and lessons in love. And I know what I deserve. I know what I deserve and I know what I want. And I'm going to be victorious in love from now on. All that other stuff, all of this, all of this, that stays in the past. Wait, it went this way, right? Hold on. This way, sorry. So yeah, all of this, no more of that. No more manipulative, narcissistic behavior from people, okay? If I show, if I see any inkling of this, I'm cutting this off. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I don't want to reunite with someone who's going to bring that energy, okay? And so as a result, you are victorious. You've decided to step away from that. And the universe is going to bless you, baby. This is blessings from the universe as well. This is karma, good karma, all right? This is in the future, so you just keep on stepping. This person may want to try to, um, this is a, cra a congratulations here. Okay. This is a celebratory because you got rid of this or you just said, you know what? I ain't got no more love. This person don't deserve my love anymore. So this King of Cups in reverse could represent that too. Okay. This person doesn't deserve my love because in the past they didn't treat me right. So I had to step in and let them know who the boss was. All right. And that, you know what? I'm going to be victorious, all right? You're going to recognize, and this is going to come to an end, all right? Because no longer am I dealing with people who can't show me love. So whenever that comes about, I'm going to walk away because I deserve real love. And I know that because of the past mistakes that I've made in love. I like this. I like this. I like it. All right. So, again, overall energy you want solid, stable commitment. So you took control of the situation, got your emotions in check, and cut out all that negative energy. As a result, the universe has said, okay, cycle closed. Good karma coming your way. All right? So um, what I'm going to do is I want to get some clarification on this here because I definitely want to clarify this Five of Swords energy. And I want to clarify this King of Cups in reverse. All right? Um... Yeah, and I definitely want to clarify the judgment in reverse here. What got you to the point where you wanted to walk away? I do want to talk about that and see what advice spirit has for you moving forward so that you can stay sucker free, baby. And that's what I'm going to name. <laughs> I'm going to take I'm going to name this video Staying Sucker Free. All right. So, let me get you some advice just in case you can't join the extended. That link is in the box below, all right? So, check that out. Come on over. See what's popping. I love this energy for you. I do. Thank you so much, universe, because I prayed for some positive energy for you guys. Because I did your reading twice already, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this one more time, and if this come out negative, I'm just not even posting for Pisces because I don't like this negative energy that's going on. So I asked the spirit guys to come in and bring me some positive messages um, because I wanted to talk to the, to the Pisces who... We're making adjustments in their lives. There are a lot of Pisces out here right now going through it because they're putting people through it. All right. And I was tired of picking up that energy. You know, the eighth house, they pick up that un, that CD energy. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, no, I don't, I don't, I'm not doing that. Not with Pisces. We have already had some, you know, unfortunate situations in the past videos. We need something positive for the ones who ain't going through that. Now we have regeneration. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. So all of these cards talk about you regenerating. We have the number 46. Yep, 46. So we're talking about 10. So 10s are all about completions, completion of a cycle. Okay? Beautiful energy, baby. I love it. Let's see what the message is from Spirit. So, rebirth, second chances, new opportunities. So in love, it says the world is based on connections and relationships. No matter what loss has occurred in the past or even now, death and endings are only illusions. This, There is life after death, love after loss, and in this moment, you are radiating the regenerative life force energy that makes you irresistible to love in all forms. Now is the time when you will feel, well, I'm sorry, now is the time when you will see evidence of this new emergence. Can you feel it? Love is rising up to greet you. All right, Pisces. I love it. Ah, 
All right. I'm really excited because I'm glad you guys got a nice reading. So it says endings come in many forms and now is the time to stop holding on to what must die so that something better can take its place. Nature's cycles include disease, decay, death, and regeneration. Let whatever isn't working for you for your life die. Don't be afraid to face the facts. There is no need to struggle or grieve. Whatever your query, let it go. You're about to be reborn, baby. Okay? Like I said, this is your future. This is the world card. Ending of cycles. You've learned your lessons. You've stepped into your power. Took control of the situation. Showed them who boss, who's boss. All right? And that's what's up. So, if that resonated with you and that was enough for you, please let me know by clicking the like button if you want to leave a comment. I do love to read them. I'm very interactive with um, my subscribers and people who are in the comments because you guys are amazing. I love your energy. All right? So, let me know what's up in the comments. Please don't come with anything negative. I'll just delete it and act like we didn't see you, okay? Because we don't need to see that. Now, um... If you want to come to the extended, the link's in the box below. And so Pisces, I will see you then. Peace out.